Magsiluhod ang lahat. Panalangin para sa pambansa at panglokal na halalan. Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pag-ukulan ng higit na pansin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus, our risen Lord, is also our Good Shepherd. And today He gathers us to celebrate this Eucharist so that He may nourish us with His Word and he may feed us with his body and blood, so that we may be less unworthy to partake of the mysteries of God's love. Let us now humbly call to mind our many sins. Let us ask God's forgiveness, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, 
you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, every living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and Barnabas continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, 
they entered the synagogue and took their seats. Many Jews and worshippers who were converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them to remain faithful to the grace of God. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first, but since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshippers and the leading men of the city stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are His people. The sheep of his flock, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. He is we are his people the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. The Lord is good, his kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. A 
reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. Then one of the elders said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they stand before God's throne and worship Him day and night in His temple. The one who sits on the throne will shelter them. They will not hunger or thirst anymore, nor will the sun or any heat strike them. For the Lamb who is in the center of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to springs of life giving water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the talents of a sheep is to be able to recognize the voice of its shepherd. Kahit na maraming pastol ang magdala ng kanilang tupa sa iisang damuhan o sa iisang batis. At kahit na magkahalo-halo ang mga tupa, kapag tumawag na ang pastol, alam na ng tupa kung sino ang kanyang pastol na susundan. Alam ng tupa ang tinig ng kanyang pastol. 
That is why today, the fourth Sunday of Easter, which is also Good Shepherd Sunday, Jesus tells us in our Gospel, My sheep hear my voice. Ang aking tupa ay nakikinig sa aking tinig. Pamilyar ang aking tupa sa aking tinig. Alam nila na tinig yon ng aking pastol. My dear brothers and sisters, this tells us first and foremost that God has a voice, that God speaks. May tinig ang Diyos at nagsasalita ang Diyos. Kaya sinabi niya, my sheep hear my voice because the shepherd has and should have a voice. A good shepherd should have a voice. Yan ay isang tanda ng mabuting pastol. Meron siyang tinig. Nagsasalita siya at siya ay naririnig. Ang isang pastol na hindi nagsasalita ay hindi mabuting pastol. Dahil kapag hindi nagsalita ang pastol, mapapariwara ang kanyang tupa. Baka kung sino-sino lang ang sundan ng kanyang tupa. Kaya dapat magsalita ang pastol at marinig ito ng, ng kanyang tupa upang malaman ng kanyang tupa kung sinong pastol ang kanyang susundan. For a shepherd... To speak is to love. Kapag hindi nagsalita ang isang pastol, pinababayaan niya ang kanyang tupa, pabaya siya bilang pastol. Because the voice of the shepherd is the life of the sheep. Ang tinig ng pastol ay buhay ng kanyang kawan. At kapag hindi nagsalita ang pastol, baka maligaw o madisgrasya pa nga ang kanyang kawan. God has a voice. God, our good shepherd, speaks. But the question is, do we listen to his voice. In our first reading today, we heard about the preaching of Paul and Barnabas. At una silang nagpahayag sa kanilang kapwa Hudyo. Dahil inaasahan nila na dahil kababayan natin ito, kapareho nating Hudyo, Siguro naman makikinig at paniniwalaan tayo. Pero mali sila ng kanilang akala. Yung akala nilang makikinig at maniniwala sa kanila, ang una pang hindi nakinig at ipinagtabuyan sila. Kaya bumaling sila sa mga hentil, sa mga hindi hudyo, sa mga hindi nananampalataya sa Diyos. At sa kanila ipinahayag nila ang kanya ang salita ng Diyos. At ang himala kung sino pa yung hindi nananampalataya, sila pa ang nakinig. The Gentiles listen to the preaching of Paul and Barnabas. And after they heard the voice of Paul and Barnabas, Speaking the words of God, the Gentiles, the non-believers, believed. They converted. They followed Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Narinig ang tinig ng pastol at sumunod 
sa tinig na yon. In our second reading today, we heard about the vision of John about multitude of peoples wearing white robes, holding palm branches, and standing before the throne of the Lamb. And who are these people? These are the people who triumphed over persecutions and sufferings in life. They were the people who listened to the shepherd and followed. At dahil sila'y nakinig at sumunod, dinala sila, napunta sila sa kalwalhatian ng langit. God speaks. God has a voice. Do we listen to Him? I'm sure, my dear brothers and sisters, we all want to listen to God. Sino ba naman ang ayaw makinig sa Diyos? It is not really that we do not want to listen to God. The problem is we find it difficult to identify the voice of God. It is not a problem of listening. It is really a problem of relationship. Gusto nating makinig sa tinig ng Diyos. Pero ang hirap-hirap malaman ano ba ang tinig ng Diyos. Sa dami-dami ng tinig na ating naririnig, parang ang hirap ng malaman ano ba talaga ang tinig ng Diyos. It is a problem of relationship because if we are familiar with God, if we are deeply related to Him, then we could easily identify His voice even in the midst of the many voices around us. Kaya problema yan ng ugnayan sa Diyos. Hindi ba kapag tayo'y may malalim na ugnayan sa isang tao, kapag kilalang kilala mo ang isang tao, kahit na sa gitna ng ingay, marinig mo lang ang kanyang tinig, Alam mo, siya na yun. Kilala ko ang tinig na yun. Kilala ko kung kanino nang gagaling yun. The, the capacity to be able to identify the voice is based on our relationship to the person. Ganyan din po sa pakikinig sa Diyos. Kapag nahihirapan tayong marinig ang tinig ng Diyos, baka wala tayong ugnayan sa Kanya. Kapag hindi natin naririnig ang tinig ng Diyos, baka mas pamilyar pa tayo sa tinig ng iba kaysa sa tinig ng Diyos. Let us establish a deep relationship with our Shepherd so that we may be able to identify His voice even in the midst of the many voices, noises around us. My dear brothers and sisters, today, being Good Shepherd Sunday, is also the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. Sa araw na ito, hinihiling sa atin ng simbahan na manalangin para sa bukasyon. Manalangin para maraming kabataang lalaki at babae ang tumugon sa tawag ng Diyos sa paglilingkod bilang pari at bilang relihiyosa. Let us take this invitation to pray for vocations Seriously, let us pray that God may give us many good shepherds. Hilingin natin sa Panginoon na sana marami pang pastol ang kanyang ibigay sa simbahan. Mabuting pastol na may tinig. Mabuting pastol na hindi takot magsalita. 
mabuting pastol na gumagabay sa kawan. Ipagdasal po natin ang ating mga pastol, lalong-lalo na sa simbahan. Tungkulin po ng mga pastol ninyo ang pagsasalita. Dahil katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, ang hindi pagsasalita ay pagpapakita ng walang malasakit. Alam ko po nitong mga nakalipas na panahon, marami sa inyo ang nagalit, nainis sa aming mga pari bilang inyong pastol. Marami ang nambabash sa amin. Araw-araw po kinasanayan ko nang magbasa ng mga hate messages galing pa sa mga taong active sa simbahan. Araw-araw may mga magsasabing hindi namin tinutupad ang aming tungkulin bilang mga pari. At marami ang lumalayo kahit na nga sariling pamilya at mga kamag-anak lumalayo sa amin dahil sa pagsasalita, pagtuturo at paggabay. Pero mga minamahal na kapatid, ang pagsasalita, pagtuturo at pagtatama ng inyong mga pastol ay tanda ng aming pagmamalasakit at pagmamahal sa inyo. Huwag po kayong magagalit. Mas magalit kayo kapag hindi na kami nagsalita. Dahil ibig sabihin nun, wala na kaming pakialam. Ngayon po ay araw ng mga ina, Mother's Day, at binabati po natin ang lahat ng mga ina na naririto at ang kasama natin sa live streaming sa ating online mass. We greet all of you a happy Mother's Day. And mothers have a voice. Lahat tayo pamilyar sa tinig ng ating ina. Tinig na nagpapaalala, tinig na nagtuturo, tinig na gumagabay, tinig na tinatama tayo sa ating pagkakamali. At alam ko, minsan naiinis din tayo sa tinig na yan. Lalong-lalo na kapag ang tinig ng nanay ay makulit, paulit-ulit at nakikialam sa ating buhay. Pero kung iisipin natin, mga minamahal na kapatid, ang tinig na yan, kahit na kinaiinisan minsan natin, ay tinig ng pagmamalasakit at pagmamahal. Kapag hindi na nagpaalala ang nanay, kapag hindi na nagturo ang nanay, Kapag hindi na itinama ang mali natin ng ating nanay, baka wala ng pakialam. Baka parang sinasabi, bahala ka na sa buhay mo. Hanggat nagpapaalala, hanggat nagtuturo, hanggat nagsasalita, nagmamalasakit, nagmamahal. Mothers, have voices and we should listen to their voice. Nakakalungkot po na kahit tayo'y nasa kontemporaryong para panahon, marami pa rin ang pilit na pinatatahimik ang tinig ng mga nanay at ng mga kababaihan in general. Kahit na napakamoderno na ng ating panahon, Marami pa rin nagsasabi na ang mga kababaihan ay mahina. Hindi pwedeng pagkatiwalaan ng mabigat na tungkulin na mga kababaihan ay pangtahanan lang. At mas nakakalungkot 
kapag ang mga salitang ito ay nanggagaling sa babae din. Ang mga kababaihan ay may tinig. Sila'y mga nanay, mabubuting pastol din, na gumagabay, nagtuturo, at nagmamahal. Bukas po ay election na. Wag po kayong mag-alala. Wala na akong sasabihin tungkol sa eleksyon. Ikukwento ko lang po sa inyo kung paanong bumoto ang mga kardinal ng Santo Papa. Sa simbahan, may pagboto rin, may election din. Yung mga kardinal nagtitipon-tipon upang bumoto ng Santo Papa. At alam nyo, pag sila'y bumoboto, siguro nung 2013, nagkaroon ng conclave to elect Pope Francis. Siguro nasaksihan naman natin yan na hanggat hindi sila nakakakuha ng two-thirds na vote, ay paulit-ulit yung kanilang pagboto. At alam niyo matagal yung pagboto nila kahit iilan lang sila. Dahil pagkatapos na sila sumulat sa balota, isa-isa silang lalapit doon sa may altar sa Sistine Chapel, doon sa harapan ng napakalaking painting ng The Last Judgment ni Michael Angelo. Nasa gitna si Jesus, sa taas ay kalangitan, purgatorio at impyerno. Kung ano pa naman yung malapit sa altar, yun pa ang impyerno. Lalapit sila isa-isa doon, daladala ang kanilang mga balota, at bago nila ay hulog ang kanilang balota, magdadasal sila sa harapan ng Last Judgment. At sasabihin nila, I call on the Lord Jesus, who will be my judge, to witness that I am voting for the one I believe to be worthy. Tumatawag ako sa Panginoong Jesus na siyang magiging hukom, magiging hukom ko upang saksihan na ibinoto ko ang pinaniniwalaan kong karapat-dapat. Maganda po sigurong gawin niyan bukas. Bago ninyo ipasok yung balota doon sa machine, magdasal muna kayo. Sabihin ninyo, Panginoon, ang ibinoto kong ito ay bunga ng aking pakikinig sa iyo. At pwede mo akong husgahan batay sa pagboto kong ito. Pag humarap ako sa iyo sa dulo ng aking buhay, pwede mong iharap sa akin ang balotang ito at tanungin mo ako bakit yan ang binoto mo. Dahil sa balotang ito, pwede mo akong iligtas sa iyong kaharian, pwede mo rin akong husgahan, pwede mo akong dalhin sa langit o pwedeng mapunta sa impyerno. Ganyan kalalim ang responsibilidad na ating gagawin bukas. Kaya, mga minamahal na kapatid, makinig tayo sa tinig ng ating mabuting pastol. God speaks to us. Let us be familiar to His voice. God speaks to us out of concern and love for us. God speaks to us in order to guide and to save us. My dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to some moments of silence. Tumahimik po tayo sandali. Makinig tayo sa tinig ng ating mabuting pastol. Tanungin natin siya ngayon, Panginoong Jesus, kung ikaw kaya ang boboto, sino kaya ang pipiliin mo?
If you heard the voice of the Good Shepherd, please follow him. Please stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, our Lord, Lord who was, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of, of sins, sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God gives eternal life to the sheep of his flock. Let us pray to the Father, confident that we can never be taken from his care. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the pastors of our church, that they may serve the Lord with gladness and lead the people with courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who preach your word, that they may bring the living truth to all parts of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who hear that word, that they may receive the gift of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray that we may have a peaceful, honest, and credible elections, and that we may elect leaders who uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipino faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For the dead, that the Good Shepherd may lead them to living water and white all tears from their eyes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who need our prayers and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty Father, as your people, the sheep of your flock, we bring our prayers before you in perfect trust and confidence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Oh. Uh -huh. 
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, up your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Oh, 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with their blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila, San Pedro Calungsod, and with all the saints, and on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice for our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you as their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus, our Good Shepherd, taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, from deceptions and lies, 
and from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, our risen Lord, our Good Shepherd. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating banal na misa ngayong linggo ng umaga. Salamat po sa pagpunta sa Manila Cathedral. We also wish to thank those who are joining the live streaming of this Mass. Maraming salamat po kung nasan man kayo ngayon, ay, uh, kayo ay kaisa sa ating pagdiriwang. Maraming salamat din po sa ating mga kapatid na nagsisimba dyan sa labas. Salamat po sa mga staff at servants ng Manila Cathedral at sa nag-provide ng ating sign language interpretation sa misang ito. At nawa ay pagpalain po ng Panginoon itong bagong linggo na ating haharapin. Nagsasalita po sa atin ang ating mabuting pastol. Pakinggan po natin siya, sapagkat ang tinig niya ay tinig na magdadala sa atin sa kabutihan at sa kaligtasan. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessings now and forever. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance now and forever. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in, in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks. be to God.